I'd like to spend a few minutes continuing our search for the perfect fatty acid profile for energy addition into a lactating cow diet. First of all, I'm going to compare fatty acid profiles and discuss peer-reviewed long-term fatty acid research and the implications between short and long-term research and then review the high palmitic product research and offer some uh, conclusions. To start off with, if we look at this chart with fatty acid profiles and added fats, and there's three different uh, classes of bypass fatty acids, calcium salts, steric prills, and palm prills, based upon different profiles of palmitic, steric, leg, and linoleic acid. The nomenclature that we use are the carbon chains, 16 or 18, followed by a colon, and then the number of unsaturated double bonds. So palmitic and steric are both saturated um, before they are fed. Um, so they're in the rumen and then they're energy for the cow. When we start looking at the unsaturated fatty acids, we have implications for rumen, rumen fermentation, which I'll cover. So we look at calcium salts. Calcium salts are based on about 50% palmitic acid, saturated fatty acid, and about 35% oleic acid. It's a calcium salt. The oleic acid is less available to the rumen, increasing uh, rumen inertness, increasing bypass, so we end up delivering more grams of 18-1 to the small intestine. The steric prills are based on higher steric acid, a saturated fatty acid with some palmitic acid and a little bit of 18-1. And then the palm palmitic prills are shifted toward mainly palmitic 16-0 and a little bit of 18-0 and a little bit of 18-1, um, shifting more to having one fatty acid versus multiple fatty acids. So why should you care? Well, first of all, the saturated fatty acids, palmitic and steric fatty acids, provide energy to the cow. So that's what they're there for. They really don't do anything in the room other than be a placeholder. 18-0 steric is a product of biohydrogenation of the other unsaturated fatty acids in the diet, so there's a lot of it that's delivered to the small intestine. When we increase 18-1 oleic delivered to the small intestine, such as with our calcium salts with energy 2, we actually increase the absorption of the saturated fatty acids, so we actually make more energy available to the cow. And then I think the third thing is differing profiles are utilized differently depending upon the amount that's fed and the stage of lactation, as we're finding out as we gather research. Now, when we look at research, really, on the dairy, it's hard to look at what is a response with no control. So we need to go back to peer-reviewed studies. And these studies are 10-plus week um, peer-reviewed studies using uh, either calcium salts or steric prills. You can see we've got a milk production response feeding a pound of energy on top of the diet, 5.8 pounds of milk, 5.9 pounds of fat corrected milk and a slight change in fat test. With the steric pearls, we have 4.9 pounds of milk, 5.2 pounds of fat corrected milk, and then a slight change uh, in, uh, in fat test. The big point is that we're increasing fat corrected milk because that's what we're getting paid on. Now going to the palmitic pearls, which have come onto the market, um, there is some research out there now, primarily shorter um, shorter term Latin squares. So we have a 14 day Latin square, a 21 day Latin square. Um, when we look at it with palmitic prills, 14 day, we 2.4 pounds of milk, uh, 3.8 pounds of fat corrected milk, and 0.1% fat change. Um, they've been mainly sold on fat change, so we go to the palmitic prill 21 day, 0.2% fat change. However, we start looking at what is the overall change, 3.9 pounds of fat corrected milk and then really no difference in milk in the shorter term. Recently, a study was conducted looking at a 12-week longer-term early lactation study with palmitic prills, and then things started to change. First of all, fat test is the same, and the implications against a control, when we, added against, when we compared it against a control, is we actually had a negative response in fat-corrected milk. This is a chart showing a study with a control line from peer-reviewed research uh, inserted in. So the calcium salts versus a control over a 12-week period showed about a 6-pound fat-corrected milk response. And the palmitic prills actually had a minus 2-pound fat-corrected milk response versus a I did control. So the implications are with these longer-term studies we're affecting persistency as we shift this fatty acid profile to more palmitic fatty acids. So to wrap it up, 
Calcium salts produced 10.4 pounds more fat corrected milk over a 12 week period. We went in at about a pound. Rid of lactation cows and negative energy balance lose persistency with high palmitic intake. Mid lactation cows and positive energy balance increase milk fat 0.1 to 0.2 in short term studies with no change in trimeter intake. And due to the cow's ability to shift energy in the body, use long term controlled studies to understand full lactation effects.